Dog Works Radio is sponsored by Alaska Dog Works. Check out their website at alaskadogworks.com. You can support this podcast on patreon.com forward slash firstpawmedia. This episode of the podcast is brought to you by First Paw Coffee Company, specializing in private label premium blend coffee. If you're serious about coffee, you should check it out. First Paw Coffee's passion is high quality, small batch roasted coffee. They take the extra time to taste and get everything perfect before they release new blends. They aim to bring you a cup of happiness each time you pour yourself some coffee. Find out more at ak.dog slash free and enter for a chance to win some First Paw Coffee prizes, a book from our collection and tote bag. One winner will be selected at random each month. That's ak.dog slash free. We love our pets, but we don't always understand why they do the things they do. Take licking, for example. While you may not understand your dog's desire to lick couch cushions and carpeting, there's actually scientific evidence that says pups lick just about everything for habitual reasons. What's more, our dogs lick our faces to show affection or because they like the way we taste. But what does it mean when our dogs become our second shadows? If you've ever noticed that your four-legged friend follows you from room to room, we're here to demystify this behavior. From First Paw Media, sponsored by Alaska Dog Works Professional Canine Training Center in Anchorage, Alaska, this is Dog Works Radio, committed to families and their dogs to build lifelong and fulfilling relationships. Visit our website at dogworksradio.com. Now, here are your hosts, Robert and Michelle Forto. Hello and welcome to Dog Works Radio. This is your host, Michelle Forto, and I am the lead trainer of Alaska Dog Works, where we help humans and their dogs have better relationships. So, you guys, I got to brag a little bit here before we dive deep into today's episode. Did you know that this week marks 15 years in business serving our clients and their dogs in Denver and Alaska with Dog Works Training Company? That is a long time and a lot of dogs. My husband and business partner Robert got his start training dogs professionally in 1994 and it was just about 15 years ago when I quit my job as a paralegal for a medium-sized corporate law firm in Denver and jumped in with both feet into the business with Robert. Over all these years, we probably have trained a couple thousand dogs of almost every size and breed imaginable. But what does all that mean? Well, we know our stuff and we love to share our knowledge with our clients that those interested in dogs around the world. Our business and this podcast have been a passion, a journey, and a wonderful experience that we hope to continue until we are very much older and too old to hold a leash. Now, on today's podcast episode, we are talking about Velcro dogs. Do you have one of those? There is science behind it, you know. We're going to dive into the topic of why your dog always wants to stick by you. And if you stick around, I will have some bonus tips on what to do for your dog as you get ready to return to work after all this time. And just in time for Halloween, should you feed pumpkin to your dog? Let's get started. According to Jane McMurchie, animal specialist and coordinator from Animal Charity of Ohio, there are a couple reasons why your dog is following you. And the first is imprinting. Canines are pack animals and we, as their owners, are part of their pack. Historically speaking, this symbiotic relationship dates back to when wolves were domesticated by mankind anywhere between 20,000 and 40,000 years ago. Today, young puppies up to six months of age can imprint on their owners and learn to read social cues as they would their birth mother in evolution over time. They have even developed puppy eyes to convey their emotions with you. 
positive reinforcement. In a household of multiple people, there's a good chance your dog will become fixated on one person in particular. Oftentimes, it's the primary caregiver who provides meals, plays tug of war, or a game of fetch, or even hands out delicious treats. This is another reason your dog might stay close to your side. Positive reinforcement. Traits of the breed. There is is a tendency for certain dogs to over attach to their owners, particularly those categorized in the working or herding groups. This includes the Labrador Retriever, German Shepherd, and Shetland Sheepdog, among others. Herding groups were bred to work side by side with their humans, so it's in your pup's DNA to stay by your side. Velcro attachment as separation anxiety. As more and more dogs have grown accustomed to their owners being home due to the pandemic, a newfound clinginess may be due to the interruption of their daily routine. When your dog is suddenly following you everywhere, this can be a sign of boredom or anxiety. Think about it. If the highlight of your dog's day is watching you walk around the house, it's time for some mental stimulation for your pet. After all, watching you sweep the floor gets old real fast. We always recommend activities for your dog that can allow them to safely exercise their minds, says McMurtry. We recommend activities like frozen Kongs, snuffle mats, or puzzle toys. Mentally stimulating activities such as these can alleviate boredom and decrease anxiety in your dog. Furthermore, McMurtry says to dedicate a consistent amount of time to bond with your dog. This can be a simple ear rub, walk, or a game of fetch done so sporadically throughout the day spent at home. However, If you notice an uptick in your pet's anxiety and they are following you in a nervous manner, our experts suggest veterinarians to get to the root of the problem. We're going to take a short break here and when we come back, we are going to learn how to prepare your pets for your return to the office. We're living in uncertain times. If there is one thing we can be thankful for, that is the recent pet adoption boom. Shelters are being cleared out, and that means you may not know much about your new best friend. Alaska Dog Works virtual and on-site classes are the best way for you to build a lasting bond and learn about your pup, new or old. From setting up a proper routine to learning the commands and much more, Alaska Dog Works provides you with the resources to develop your dog into one of the best. Right now, Alaska Dog Works has an exclusive offer just for our listeners. Go to alaskadogworks.com now and use promo code DOGWORKS and save 20% off your training program at the time of your booking. Visit alaskadogworks.com and use promo code DOGWORKS to save 20% today. That's alaskadogworks.com and use promo code DOGWORKS at the time of booking. It's been over a year of taking Zoom calls from our home offices intermittent walks around the block with the family dog and giving our pets plenty of belly rubs between emails. Since the pandemic began, many Americans have gotten comfortable working remotely, but we're not the only ones. Our pets have grown accustomed to us being home too. Now, as more and more Americans are trading their virtual meetings for back at the office meetings, how will our pets cope with us not being home as often? Consider natural supplements. If the stress of leaving your pet is too much for your furry best friend, trying natural calming chews or gourmet pet approved flavors of CBD oil that's tailored to your dog. Calming chews or CBD gummies may help your pet cope with the stress of your absence as a combination of high quality CBD oil from broad spectrum hemp extract and chamomile are natural anxiety reducers. If you have questions about CBD oil for your dog, please consult with your veterinarian. Create your dog responsibly if necessary. If you got a new puppy over the course of the pandemic or retrained your existing pet, Jessica Jane McMurchy, the coordinator from Animal Charity of Ohio, recommends creating your pets while you're away. 
it's important that your dog's crate is a safe and happy place to relax while you're at work. McMurchy recommends owners remove any potential harmful objects from the crated area, secure any possible escape routes, and provide toys that will spark mental stimulation. Help them bide the time with productive treats. Who doesn't love games? While dogs can't partake in solving the daily Sudoku puzzle, there are plenty of pet-friendly puzzles to mentally stimulate your dog mind while you're out. McMurchie shares that Kong toys, those hard rubber toys that can be stuffed with peanut butter or treat and frozen, are a popular choice to keep animals busy. Other non-food options are snuffle mats and puzzle toys. McMurchie recommends that the special treat you leave for your pet while you're out should be a high value toy. In other words, not something they play with all the time. Set up a two-way webcam. When you can check the home security camera on your phone while you're away, it brings a sense of peace and reassurance. Having a pet cam for your pet is another way to reduce separation anxiety for both you and your pet. There are even dog cameras that release treats to your pets controlled by you via your smartphone. Practice your new routine. The last step to gearing up your pet for hours spent alone is to do intermittent practice runs. Start with quick trips to the store or even hanging outside of your house. Building your way up to the number of hours away to correspond with your dog's workday. If you notice your pet having a more difficult than usual time during your separation, our expert expresses that you consult your veterinarian to see if medical intervention is needed for their safety. All right, you guys, here is a bonus for you. Just in time for Halloween, did you know that dogs love pumpkin and it is good for them too? It's pumpkin season for sure. If you're making a special trip to the pumpkin patch, don't forget to pick out a pumpkin for your dog too. Almost every part of a pumpkin can be fed to your pup and the health benefits of this super squash may surprise you. What part of the pumpkin can dogs eat? Dogs can eat raw, cooked, pureed, and canned pumpkin in its purest form, meaning no additives. Your pup can also consume pumpkin seeds raw or roasted. The only part of the pumpkin that your dog shouldn't eat is the stem, since it splinters easily and can cause internal damage or obstruction in his or her digestive tract. Be careful not to feed pumpkin pie filling or canned pumpkin that contains added sweeteners or spices. When preparing pumpkin seeds for your dog, avoid adding oils or salt. What are the benefits of eating pumpkins? Pumpkins are packed with nutrients and is considered a superfood for dogs. Pumpkin contains a high concentration of vitamin A, which promotes eye health. Vitamin A, zinc, and several other nutrients found in pumpkin improve your dog's skin and coat. Plus, the high moisture content in pumpkin flesh contributes to a gorgeous shiny coat and helps with dry skin. This tasty squash's high water content not only helps to moisturize skin, but it provides more water to your dog's diet to keep your pup hydrated and healthy. Boost your dog's immune system with pumpkin's antioxidants. Another beneficial nutrient found in pumpkins is vitamin C, which is essential for immune health. Including pumpkin in your dog's diet can maintain digestive regularity with its high fiber content. This superfood has the incredible ability to cure both constipation and diarrhea in your pup. Just remember, too much fiber in your pet's diet is not a good thing since it may inhibit the absorption of other nutrients. Pumpkin seeds are also very beneficial to your dog's health. These tasty seeds contain a variety of antioxidants, phytonutrients, and are a great source of potassium, calcium, and magnesium. Pumpkin seeds are an excellent source of healthy polyunsaturated fatty acids and oils. Plus, ground pumpkin seeds are a traditional remedy for tapeworm and are known to prevent urinary incontinence in pups. 
How do I serve pumpkin to my dog? Pumpkin is incredibly versatile. You can combine it into your dog's meals, especially with dry food. Add pureed pumpkin to baked dog treats or stuff it into a Kong toy. Steam, mash, or puree fresh pumpkin or buy a can of organic pureed pumpkin with no additives. You can bake pumpkin and cube it for a delicious home-cooked snack. What about the pumpkin seeds? If you love to snack on pumpkin seeds, you can roast a special batch of seeds for your doggo. Avoid adding other ingredients to your dog's batch. No salt or seasonings. Now, you and your pup can kick it and enjoy this tasty snack together. Some food advisories. As you know, not all dogs have the same diet, so please consult your veterinarian before feeding pumpkin to your dog if you are unsure how your dog will react to it. Some pups have sensitive stomachs and the addition of new foods may cause digestive issues. All right, guys, it's now time for our calendar of events for those that are listening locally on KVRF or our current and past clients. Stay tuned for more important announcements. For our other listeners, stick around. You might learn something cool. All right. It is Adopt a Senior Pet Month by the ASPCA, National Senior Pet Month, Pet Cancer Awareness Month, which is sponsored by Veterinary Pet Insurance and the Animal Cancer Foundation, uh, Pet Diabetes Month, and November 1st through 7th is National Animal Shelter Appreciation Week, put on by the Humane Society of the United States. November 1st is National Cook for Your Pets Day. November 1st is also International Pet Groomers Appreciation Day. And November 7th is National Canine Lymphoma Awareness Day. We finished a very successful summer of group classes in the park. We had a great turnout every time. Next year, we are adding classes in Anchorage on the park strip and even some specialized group classes too. Our dates are already on our Facebook page as events. This month, we sponsored Alaska Dog Works Dryland Derby at Beach Lake Park in Chugiak. If you have ever been interested in competing with your dog in Canacross or Bike Jor, This is the spot, so begin training for next year. I am even conducting some bike joint clinics right now. Check out ChugiakDogMushers.com for more information. Did you know that every Wednesday and Sunday night we do a Facebook Live at 7 p.m.? Be sure to check us out, and if you miss the live broadcast, you can always tune in later. Also, stay tuned for information about the Matt Sue Outdoorsman Show next March our canine first aid and canine CPR class next summer, and much more. As always, you can keep up to date by following us on our social channels. Just search DogWorks Radio. And for more training tips and tricks and how to learn to schedule a free discovery call to talk with us about how to make your dog one of the best, visit alaskadogworks.com. Oh, and last thing, did you know the single best thing you can do is tell your family and friends about our show? Why don't you send them a link to this episode and they too will soon be a rabid listener. This is Michelle Forto for Alaska Dog Works. See you next time. This episode of the podcast is sponsored by First Paw Coffee Company. Learn more at firstpaw.coffee. From First Paw Media, this is Dog Works Radio. We hope you enjoyed this podcast, and we invite you to subscribe in Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, or wherever you get your podcasts. You'll find a link on the episode notes. You can tap or swipe on the episode cover art, and you'll see some offers from our sponsors. You can support our show by supporting them. If you like what you have heard, we would love it if you could give us a five-star rating and tell your friends how to subscribe, too. Your hosts are Robert and Michelle Forto. Our producer is Robert Forto and created for First Paw Media. Did you know that Alaska Dog Works trains service dogs for those in need throughout North America? Each and every service dog that is trained through the Lead Dog Service Dog Program and Michelle Forto and her team has an individual training plan. We train for autistic, mobility, psychiatric, and PTSD for our soldiers for service work. 
If you know of someone that may need a service dog, please take a moment and check out Alaska Dog Works on social media and at alaskadogworks.com.